is News Channel 3, live at 6. Breaking news right now tonight at Haboob, now moving into the valley. This is how it all started. Thunderstorms in Imperial County, gusty winds leading to reduced visibility and blowing dust and sand. This is what it looked like just a little while ago from an aerial view out over the Salton Sea, and you could see that dust forming. Well, now this is a live picture in Indio. You can see the wall of dust has arrived in the Coachella Valley. First Lord Chief Meteorologist Haley Clawson is tracking your ever-changing conditions. Haley, that is a brown cloud, and this picture looks dramatically different than it did 20, 30 minutes ago. Exactly. We were able to see those thunderstorm clouds far off towards the south, and it's because of thunderstorms in Imperial County as to why we are experiencing this wall of dust moving into the Coachella Valley. But now, as we are looking from our I-10 camera, visibility just becoming reduced and for some perspective as to where this is this is just towards the east of the Washington Street exit so still visibility becoming more and more reduced if you do not have to be out on the roadways avoid it because visibility will continue to drop as more of this dust funnels into the Coachella Valley already beginning to see those cars just disappear from sight as we're looking down towards the southeast this visibility is going to be a big issue as we head throughout the rest of this evening along with the gusty winds we're already Already beginning to see those wind reports come in thermal right now with a gust of 44 miles per hour. This is a very different setup than what we were experiencing. Just an hour ago, just 30 minutes ago, our winds have been very light all through today. But now as that wall of dust moves in, those gusty conditions are going to be felt along with the reduced visibility. So what should you do if you ever find yourself in a dust storm? The first thing is pull off the side of the road as far as you possibly can. Another thing is to turn off all lights. Don't put your hazards on. Don't put your brake lights on because that may distract another driver behind you as to thinking that's the way to go because visibility is just so reduced. And of course, if you can't pull off the roadway, just be as cautious as possible because again, that visibility can just drop in an instance and then linger. So let's wait till the dust settles before we head out on the roadways this evening. A blowing dust advisory does remain in effect for the Coachella Valley until 8 p.m. Coming up in my first alert forecast, we're going to be looking at those thunderstorms that created this very dusty situation. All right, Haley, thanks. Tonight, the family of a man shot and killed in India this week is gathering for a vigil, but this haboob is certainly going to impact that. News Channel 3's Bianca Ventura joins us now live from that vigil. Bianca, we could see the wind and the dust behind you. Just how bad is it out there? Hi, Peter. We're here live in India, where parts of the eastern Coachella Valley are experiencing this haboob, and it's just a big dust storm. You can see that the palm trees are moving. There's dust going into people's eyes, and these are really less than ideal conditions, especially for all the friends and family that are here trying to remember the life of Mario Lopez, who was pronounced dead here on Palm Street earlier this week. And you can see they've left photos, candles, flowers that are all almost blown away by the wind, but still his friends and family are here. People are still showing up despite these difficult weather conditions. Now there's an investigation underway and we don't know much about the suspects or the weapon that was used in the shooting, but we'll have more details coming up at 10 and 11 tonight. Back to you, Peter. Okay, thank you, Bianca, for the latest on that. We are going to continue our Haboob coverage and uh, keep it right here on News Channel 3 for any new developments on the air and online at KESQ.com. Be careful out there. Heed Haley's advice. Try to stay off the road if you can. In these cases, visibility can go down to near zero at any moment. So, again, keep a close eye on that. We are keeping a close eye on it. We're going to be breaking and have more coverage still to come right now.